I'm here with Wei Dynasty Lee, who is the head coach of Team Fusion. Now, that was a tough loss, and we are starting out the series 0-2. So I want to get your thoughts on the guys, the gameplay so far today, but also whether or not you think this is the team, the types of personalities that can rally from starting down 0-2 and come back to take the series. Mm -hmm. Well, first, I would like to take the opportunity to thank you very much. This is my first interview, so it's a pleasure. Um, and I would like to thank our opponents at five. You know, they're a very strong team. We've never taken them lightly, and they've shown that they can compete with us for sure. But on the second hand, you know, I'm not worried at all. Our team is very experienced. We won't tilt that easily, and I think you'll be maybe seeing three more games. Fantastic. I'm sure the crowd would love to see three more games, and they've been fantastic and close in both of them. Now let's move on to you specifically. As you said, this is your first interview, so I want to touch a little bit on your involvement with esports and league. So w where did it all start? Um, it first started about three, four years ago. Uh, I was friends with Mark Noon. This was before he went into a gaming house for Najin. We had a close friendship, and then from that point on, I kind of helped him through picking bands, you know, public relations, like anything he needed help on, I would help him when he was w like going through OGN. Um, and my owner right there, Alden, you know, what a fantastic guy. But basically, I, I was a moderator for Mac Noon, and I knew a person who was in contact with Alden, and he came up to me one day. He's like, I think we can make a team. And I'm like, all right, this is really sketchy. Like, what's going on? Where's the money coming from? You know, I'm still not sure to this day. But anyways, uh, so then from there, you know, we kind of built a team together. And basically, we just built around Mach Noon because we had Mach Noon down. And then basically, I just picked four other aggressive people and trying to make a nod in light. Fantastic. Maybe some blood money coming through here or something like that. We don't really know. But uh, you said you had a close relationship with Mach Noon. I know that the team was, you know, partially built around him. So, you know, talk to me about that process because you needed to find a shot caller, too. So meshing personalities and things like that must have been a little difficult. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think everyone knows putting a team together is not as easy as it looks because you don't only have to be concerned about the talent. You have to be concerned about the personalities. You have to be concerned about their motivation, their drives, and just how you know, everyone's going to match together, including the support staff. So when I was picking my team members, you know, when our, the staff was together, we were deciding, we just want to make sure we pick people who you know, were very easygoing. They were able to adapt to any situation. They weren't afraid to take criticism. And that's a big part of what we are as an organization. And, yeah. All right. Well, what are the unique aspects of this team, though? Because, again, you, you kind of created this within two months. So uh, I have to imagine that you're even discovering new things about your players to, to this date. It isn't all just like, oh, yeah, we've been together for five years. Everyone knows everything about each other. Um, yeah, so I guess one unique uh, characteristic about our team compared to every other league team is our very large support staff, which, you know, they're sitting right here, sitting right over there. Uh, it just kind of shows you how dedicated we are to making sure we kind of improve the NA scene as a whole. Because even if we lose this match and we go on to lose the next match, you'll still be seeing more from us. You know, we're here to stay and we're here to really improve the NA scene and that's what we're all about. All right, now talk to me a little bit about the Chunky versus Glebe scenario because it's very interesting to see in an NA team uh, a position that can be swapped out and you have played with both players. Uh, exactly. So when we were first making our team, one thing that we wanted to take away is the good points of other teams that are really good. For example, Korean teams, they have many support players. Um, Chinese teams, for example, OMG, they ran with Cloud and Dada7. So we kind of took from them, and we want to just see what support kind of fit at the time. Glebe, uh, he increases medication dosage from four pills to five pills per day, so it's kind of just screwing up his daily routine. But, you know, we're, we were very fortunate that we had such a good talent in Chunky. You know, he's just an incredible guy, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. He's just so shy, so he hasn't really had many opportunities in the scene. But I'm glad, you know, people have seen what he's capable of, and I think we can expect to see a lot more from him in the future. Fantastic. Now, one final question. As you said, you have a, a major support staff who are back there helping the team out right now in between games. But you, as one of the, as a head coach, if you did have the opportunity to be back there with them right now, what would you say going into this all important third match? I just tell them to forget everything else, um, play without any regrets, and let's take it to three more games. Fantastic. Well, let's hope they have the coach's words echoing in their head as we move into game three. So we're going to send it right over to Pyra and Zyrene to get us there. Thank you.